Solve the system. x plus y minus z is 5. 2x plus y plus 3z is 2. 4x minus y plus 2z is negative 1. We're going to solve this equation by creating an augmented matrix and we're going to take it to the form called the reduced row echelon form. So let's write the augmented system, or the augmented matrix, sorry. 1, 1, negative 1, 5, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, negative 1, 2, negative 1. We already have a 1 on the first element on the diagonal, so we'll focus on making the second and third elements in the first column zeros. To make the, the 2 a 0, we'll take the row 2 element and we'll subtract 2 times the row 1 element. Similarly, for the 4, we'll take the row 3 element and subtract 4 times the row 1 element. Row 1 stays the same. Now, take the row 2 elements and subtract 2 times the row 1 elements. 2 subtract 2 times 1 is 0. 1 subtract 2 times 1 is negative 1. 3 subtract 2 times negative 1 is 5. And 2 subtract 2 times 5, that's 2 subtract 10, that's negative 8. Working with the third row, row 3 minus 4 row 1's will give me 0. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. 2 subtract 4 times negative 1, that's 2 add 4, which is 6. Negative 1 subtract 4 times 5, that's negative 1 minus 20, that's negative 21. So we have the first column as 1, 0, 0. Now we'll focus on the second element in the diagonal. We want to make that negative 1 a positive 1, so we'll multiply the entire row 2 by negative 1, leaving everything else alone. Negative 1 by 1, by negative 1 is positive 1. 5 by negative 1 is negative 5. Negative 8 by negative 1 is 1. Is 8, excuse me. Now we're going to focus on the last element in the second column. We need to make it a 0. So we will take the row 3 and we will add 5 times the row 2, leaving the other row is exactly the same. Negative 5 add 5 times 1 is 0. 6 add 5 times negative 5. That's 6 add negative 25. That's negative 19. Negative 21 add 5 times 8. Negative 21 add 40 is positive 19. So now we just need to make this last element of the diagonal a 1, so we will multiply the row by negative 1 19th. And leaving everything else alone. So that would give us 0, 0, 0, 1, negative 1. So now we're at the form that's called the row echelon form, but we're going to go further with this. We're going to take this to the reduced row echelon form by now working on the other, other elements that are not on the diagonal and making them zeros. So I'm going to make this negative 5 a 0, and I'm going to make this negative 1 a 0 by working with the row and row 3. So I'm going to take row 2 and I'm going to add 5 row 3's. And that'll give me a 0 in the last element in row 2. I'm going to take row 1 and add row 3. And that'll give me a 0 in the last element in row 1. 
All right, so row 1 plus row 3 would give me 1, 1, 0, 4. Row 2 plus 5, row 3 would give me 0, 1, 0. Now let's see, row 2 is 8 plus 5 times row 3. 5 times negative 1 is 5, 8 plus negative 5 is 3. And we have 0, 0, 1, negative 1. And now all I need to do, one more step, I'm going to make that, that 1 that I just circled a 0 by working with row 1 and row 2. So let me take row 1 and subtract row 2. So 1 subtract 0 is, z is 1, 1 subtract 1 is 0, 0 subtract 0 is 0. 4 subtract 3 is 1, and everything else stays the same. And again, this is called the reduced row echelon form. So notice that since we have ones on the diagonal and zeros everywhere else, this immediately gives us the solution of the system. In fact, this tells us that x equals 1, y equals 3, and z equals negative 1 is the solution of the system. Or we could write that as the ordered triple 1, 3, negative 1.